From O.J. Simpson to Robert Blake, we count down seven celebrities who got away with murder, despite seeming obviously guilty. Number seven, Snoop Dogg. The hip-hop and pop culture legend Snoop Dogg and his bodyguard McKinley Lee were charged in the murder of Los Angeles Crip Philip Waldemarian in 1995. Mr Waldemarian, who was a member of a rival gang, was shot twice and killed by Snoop Dogg's bodyguard during a face-off in Snoop's car. Snoop was arrested in connection with the death of Philip and was charged with murder along with his bodyguard because he was driving the vehicle that the gun had been fired from. In January 2006, Snoop and his bodyguard were found not guilty on the murder charges, but the jury remained deadlocked on the manslaughter charge. Snoop dealt with this legal matter for almost three years after the initial not guilty verdict. Number six, Don King. Don King is arguably one of the most well-known boxing promoters in history. Apparently, he has killed two people. His first victim was Hilary Brown, who he had shot in the back as Brown attempted to rob one of his gambling houses. Authorities later said that the shooting was justified and no charges were laid against him. Thirteen years later, King was arrested for second-degree murder for beating his employee, Sam Garrett, to death over a $600 debt. King's first reason for conviction was second-degree murder, but the judge reduced the conviction to non-negligent manslaughter. He served four years in a state prison for the incident. Today, Don King is a very rich man with an estimated net worth of over $290 million. Number five, Vince Neil. In 1984, Motley Crue frontman Vince Neil was involved in a drunk driving accident in which his passenger, Nicholas Razzle Dingley, was killed. The two individuals in the other car also suffered brain damage. Though Neil's blood alcohol level was at 0.17 at the time of the accident, he spent only 15 days in jail. Number four, Jason Williams. Jason Williams, NBA All-Star, was arrested for shooting and killing a 55-year-old limousine driver employed to drive his NBA's charity team. It was asserted that Williams was playing with a shotgun when he was touring his home and the weapon fired and then killed the man. He pleaded guilty to aggravated assault charges in a plea deal. The judge presiding gave Williams a five-year sentence. While Williams did not avoid prison completely, he is entitled to parole in 2012. Number three. Johnny Lewis. Johnny Lewis was an American film and television actor who in 2012 broke into the home of 81-year-old Catherine Davis, ransacked her home and then killed her and her cat. Witnesses then saw the Sons of Anarchy actor jump over a fence, assault a neighbour and return to the Davis house. Though he had history of drug use, an autopsy revealed that Lewis had no drugs or alcohol in his system at the time of his death. It is believed that Lewis either fell or jumped from a roof garage or patio of Davis's villa while trying to jump. Number two, Robert Blake. Robert Blake, former American television actor, famous for his role on the show Beretta, repeatedly hit the headlines when he was acquitted of murdering his wife in 2005, despite pretty much all evidence pointing to the contrary. As a matter of fact, the evidence levelled against him was so strong that in spite of not being arrested for the murder, which would have earned him a life sentence, he was still found liable for her death in a civil court, having been finally granted bail of $1.5 million and placed on house arrest during the trial in March 2003. In October 2003, the trial judge dismissed the conspiracy charge, citing no forensic evidence implicating Blake. On March 16, 2005, Robert Blake was found not guilty of the murder of his wife. Number one, O.J. Simpson. Perhaps the most famous court case of all time. O.J., also known as The Juice, Simpson is a retired Hall of Fame NFL football player. He was convicted and charged with the murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ronald Goldman. Though he was finally found not guilty, people believe that Simpson literally got away with murder. There was a lot of evidence. Bloody footprints at the scene matched both Simpson's DNA as well as his very expensive and rare shoes. Bloody socks at OJ's home tested positive for Nicole and Ron's blood. There were a ton of witnesses for both sides and it became known as the crime of the century. In the end, however, OJ Simpson was found not guilty of the murders. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.